All right, so I'm gonna jump on my bike, I'm gonna cycle to Twickenham, and then get the fast train from Twickenham to London Waterloo, and then I've got a little bit of, yeah, something a bit fun today, something a bit exciting, so just you wait. So that's a wrap from Jab. I think I've probably bruised my knuckles a little bit. Oh my God. Just a little casual Ferrari. But yeah, job done. Bit of fun. Catch you later. There's no point sitting out here. Let's go inside, meet the team. <laughs> Tell uh, us, James, about veg being bad. Yeah. Right, so my thought process is, there's actually two schools of thought on this, is everything in the world is a survival thing, right? It's trying to survive. Mm. However... Vegetables aren't. Ve no, vegetables are trying to survive. <laughs> vegetables are plants, right? Plants are trying to survive, but they can't run away. If an animal is trying to survive, it's gonna run away from you rather than getting killed and eaten, right? Whereas a plant can't run away. So it creates these chemicals, right, that interact with your body being like, I'm going to make you feel like shit so you don't eat me again. Sure, it's a good argument. Yeah. That's yeah. their defense they're, mechanism. They're, yeah, that's their defense mechanism. They're However, trying to be popular. Like a hedgehog gets the spikes, huh? they release crap. Ha yeah. However, there's also the school of thought that those little bits, like in very small amounts, actually your body builds up a defense to that and becomes more resilient. So therefore, by yeah, it's like a eating bad plants, cheese, then your body builds like the bacteria to yeah, yeah, fight yeah, it yeah. off. It can actually be good for you. Yeah. So, so you think that no veg is good? So because no, I'm, in, I'm in two schools of thought, and I'm like, well, actually, you probably could just. So you're basically liver king. Can somebody on YouTube please <laughs> you answer liver? James and tell James <laughs> are that vegetables liver? are good? Vegetables. Tell you. I have the story from Notting Hill where the lady's not like a vegetarian or a vegan, or I can't remember what she is, and the Will in Notting Hill says to her, he says, uh, so like, an apple falls from the tree, that's like evil, and she says, yes, the apple's been murdered. <laughs> um, I got to know Pure Sport kind of quite organically because um, about four months ago, I was diagnosed with ADHD and, and part of that diagnosis, because of professional sport, um, I wasn't able to go on medication right away. Um, and so a lot of the research I was doing was to look into products that could support the parts of my brain and the parts of my behavior and, and likely the things that ADHD would sort of, how it would affect the body and the brain and daily life. I was looking into supplements and research and ideas into what I could probably do to start protecting the brain, to start helping myself, to start making sure that each day I was doing everything I could to try to help the situation. I was looking into what sort of my nutrition should look like from a, when I go into Tesco, what should I buy? And then of course I was looking into 
extra products that might be able to help that are organic, that I get drug tested, and so when the drug testers come through the door, they're not banned substances. And so this was all really important. And so by doing this research, I went on message boards, I went and read, you know, on PubMed, and I read research papers, and I really wanted to look and see, is there products out there that can help me every day and perhaps just cut down some of the, call it symptoms of ADHD, but you're looking at stress, you're looking at often over-emotional, you're looking at allowing emotions to overwhelm you, and that can often affect how you function in life. Any issues that are going on psychologically only really become an issue when it starts affecting what you're doing on your day-to-day. -day. So really the plan was to find a company that I could work with that you know, has these supplements, these supplements that I've found and read. I've read the research, I've, I've read forums, I've read what other people say that have ADHD. And the mad thing is that a lot of these products that I'm reading about, whether you have ADHD or not, whether you have strong ADHD, whether you have autism, whether, you know, it's, this is a spectrum, life's a spectrum. Everything I'm reading was geared towards helping everybody. So of course it could help me, but who doesn't feel stress? Who doesn't get emotional? Who doesn't allow things to overwhelm them? Who doesn't wake up and not feel motivated? Or who doesn't chase dopamine? Let's be honest, that's the thing with ADHD. So I found Pure Sport. The reason Pure Sport really worked for me was because they're informed sport. I'm a professional athlete. Drug testers come. But I guess the main selling point for me around Pure Sport even though informed sport is really important, of course it is, but informed sport is an idea because informed sport means that you have to send away your products, they get batch tested. You're ensuring that every single ingredient in that product is what it says it is. Everything from a practical sense made a lot of sense with Pure Sport. And then I came in and I met the team and I walked into the office and you've came off the tube. It's stressful, everybody knows what the tube's like. You've walked through London, there's people trying to run you over, it's absolutely chaos. And then you walk into an office of a company that just, you can tell instantly, care about people, there's a calmness, there's a nice vibe. It's just cool. There's the Pure Sport Run Club, it's all about healthy living, it's all about, basically it's all about, you cannot just take a product, a supplement, with all this reading about ADHD, you can take these products, you can take these supplements, you can take your CBD oil, you can take your lion's mane, but if you don't start working on your lifestyle and you don't start trying to put things in place to help yourself, you can't take a painkiller and think that everything's gonna be okay. Take a painkiller, go beat your head off against a wall and, and you know think you're gonna ease that pain. One supplement will not change everything, but Pure Sport gave up, swear word, about the rest of things in life. They cared about, you know, what your day to day is. They cared about getting active, yoga, meditating, journaling, run club. That's why I found a company that I knew I wanted to be close to, that I knew I wanted to partner with, but I also knew at the end of the day made a really good product. I might have inserted another swear word there, but I won't. A really, really F and F and F and good product. And that's why I work with Pure Sport. So my day-to-day -day life is a professional runner for Under Armour. I'm an Olympian and 209 marathon runner. I wake up, I have my morning coffee, and in the morning coffee, I have Boost, Pure Sport Boost. I finish my coffee, I go for a run, I come back, I have some lunch. After lunch, I use the Pure Sport Muscle and Joint Balm. I run through, I do a bit of self-massage, much, much better for the legs. It doesn't dry in like some of the other creams. As the day goes on, I take lion's mane in the afternoon, which is perfect for my ADHD, calms everything down, keeps me working, keeps me functioning. And then before bed, two de-stress capsules and two drops of the unwind CBD oil in a nighttime tea, and I'm ready for sleep. Some nights, if I'm really tired, I take two reishi capsules as well, but only if I'm really tired. All right, guys, so, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a little bit different. Today was very fun. It was very cool to do the jab class. I love that Pure Sport are in to getting people moving, getting people active, doing different things, doing things that will challenge you. I hope you liked a little bit of the insight into some of these products. Don't worry if you're in America, UK, Ireland. 
find a company that perhaps has similar values to Pure Sport. If you're interested in the Pure Sport stuff, I'll put a link in the bio. I've already told you what I use. You can use a discount code called Lion20, but that's completely up to you. The main thing to learn from today, the tip of today, start to put a routine in place that helps. These supplements, they're absolutely fantastic if they work alongside a routine and a life and habits that are gonna help you. You can watch me train for an Olympics. You can keep coming back and watching these videos and learning things and learning things about running, but if you don't start to sort out your routine and your daily habits, it's very, very difficult to get better at running. That's actually why I built the Run and Master class because I wanted to teach people what I do the other 22 to 23 hours of the day because that's what I think makes the biggest difference. That's what is the biggest difference between absorbing training, not absorbing training, doing the training right, recovering well, sleeping well, et cetera, et cetera. Start to look after your routine, start to look after your daily habits, and you will see improve. Jab, super, super fun class, love a bit of boxing, love the kind of CrossFit warm up. It's cool to do different things. If you're tired, if you're not motivated to run, jump in a spin class, jump in a boxing class, jump in a step aerobics class, do something different, brilliant for the brain, still good for the fitness. Take care, guys.